So the phone number on the impounded truck was the pre-1970s kind with letters. Harlem 7, 4321. Did the truck that got away have the same one? Yeah. But I'm not sure I'm following. <laughs> Pre-1970s trucks were terrible polluters because they had no catalytic converters. My office did an initiative to get them off the roads. So there are now very few old trucks in this neighborhood. Si tuviéramos alguna forma de localizarlo. I got an idea. Nice work, Ma. Back in business. If Ma's right about those trucks, they probably left behind some kind of residue. Hey, Miles. I heard there's a star-studded gala at the museum. If I find the missing pieces, yeah. Never been to a gala before. Do you want to go? Thought you'd never ask. What should I wear? Here's black, looky glam. Bro, let me focus. Right. Uh, good luck. I can't believe people would do this. I was so excited about this exhibit. The whole museum, really. Look, this is an unfortunate situation I'm in here. I mean, you know how much I care about protecting the collective history of this community. I do, which is why I hope this won't derail your support. Okay, let's see if those trucks left anything behind. Spider-Man's here. Spider-Man. Any news? Working on some new leads. I'll let you know. Well, I've got business to attend to, but you know my feelings. For me, it's about preserving the history at all costs. Hey, Spider-Man. Let me know you're helping on this. You're good. Thanks. This looks like it could be something from a prehistoric heist truck. Ugh. Smell that sulfur. Definitely from an old engine. Maybe I can isolate it further. To identify the substance, I need to get rid of the contaminants. Hydrocarbon. This will never make it through a catalytic converter. Hey, Ma, you were right. That truck was so old, it left a unique contaminant in its wake. Fantastic. Can you track it down? On it as we speak. I suddenly have hope we might really be able to find everything, pull off the gala, and save the museum. Whoa, 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 whoa. One thing at a time. Okay, I know. Well, be careful and let me know what you find. Sorry, couldn't hear you. Anyway, we delivered everything we had. The rest of it fell off the truck. You better freaking find it! I understand, sir. We'll keep looking for the last item. He's stiffing us. What did I tell you? No. Hmm? He'll pay when we deliver the saxophone. <laughs> no, the saxophone. I think you know where. Settle down, idiot. This guy's loaded. Just need to make him happy. Oh, I am done. I'm gonna go find that guy and take my money. They're gonna blow the whole deal. I would down. down. Did you really think you seen the last of me? How the hell did the spider find us? Squash the spider! 
more friends? Let's go. Come on, guys. Okay. That's all of them. Let's open up that truck and get the rest of those museum pieces. Empty. They must have already given their boss whatever was in here. All roads seem to lead to that guy. Sounds like somebody's phone. Okay, so there's something out there they're still looking for. So I found the second truck, but it was empty. Oh, no. But they lost one of the pieces somehow. Charlie Parker's saxophone. Oh, Miles, head over to C.J. Walker Park. Okay, why? One of our interns said she heard a guy talking about a saxophone he found. I didn't believe her at first. She's... Kind of a bochichera. If it's the one these guys lost, the boss seemed really interested in finding it. As he should be. Charlie Parker's a legend. That saxophone is priceless. Who should I look for at the park? I don't have a name. They said a trumpet player was talking about it. Trumpet? Got it. Thanks, mi arañita. Let me know what happens. Te quiero. Gotta change clothes first. Don't want to disrupt the festival. Okay, where is this trumpet guy? This place looks a lot better today than it did when Fisk and his crew took it over. Hey, Miles. Steph, what's up? You here with Gloria? Nah, she's working. I just got here. Was looking for a trumpet player. You seen one anywhere? Yeah, Teo is here, playing his trumpet. Teo plays trumpet? Mm-hmm. I think he was over near that far gate. Great. Thanks, Steph. And say hi to Gloria for me. Hey, Camila. Miles! Can I get you anything? Oh, uh, no thanks. I'm looking for Teo. Have you seen him? I've been busy in the truck, but I can hear him. Just follow the sound of his trumpet. Will do. Catch thanks. you later. Thanks, everyone. Hey, Spider-Man. Hey, Miles. Teo! Sounding good, man. Wow, I didn't know you played the trumpet. I dabble, I dabble. Hey, I was actually gonna call you. When I was in keynote music this morning getting my horn fixed, some kids brought in a sax they found on the street. Was thinking it could potentially be the one from the museum. I don't want to get anyone in trouble. I'm trying to do the right thing. Yeah, 100%. You talking about Keynote on Cathedral? Yeah, talk to Eugene. Thanks. Headed there right now. Trumpet sounds great, bro. Hey, Ma. Found the sax. On my way to pick it up now. Ay, bendito. Angela will be so relieved. This just might save the museum. Hey, did you know Teo played the trumpet? He's pretty good, too. Had an audience and everything. The whole park was bumping. Precisely why this museum is so important. Music enriches our community and brings it together. Is that my mom or Councilwoman Morales talking? It's both. Ten cuidado, mijo. Uh 
Oh, this doesn't look good. Hey, Spider-Man! I was about to put an alert in your app. What happened here? A couple of creepy guys just dragged Eugene out here. Definitely wasn't right. They went that way. Thanks. I'll check it out. Let's scan for any clues here. <laughs> Hey, fellas! You want to learn to play music? There are better ways to do it. It's the spider! Get him! Man, here comes the rest of the band. Spider-Man. You okay? A few bruises are okay, as long as they left me my keys. Here, take these and open my trunk. Charlie Parker saxophone. That's the real deal right there. I was getting ready to return to the museum, and those guys busted in. He used that to record his masterpiece, Ornithology, 1946. You a bird fan? <laughs> My dad was. I don't know much about old music. Mm, mm, old. <laughs> when you hear an MC today, you syncopated accents, stress the offbeat, flow in and out of the rhythm. That ain't number bebop. I have to listen a little closely next time. I'll get this back to the museum right away. Then I gotta call my insurance company. Okay, thanks, man. Right. Hmm. If I could get into the phone these guys were using to communicate with the mastermind. <laughs> All zeros is a number equivalent of password as a password. Just a midnight rendezvous with a criminal mastermind. No biggie. Take down the boss of this operation. Let's find the rest of those museum pieces. No one here yet. I'll just hang for a bit until the party starts. to pay us on our last delivery. You'll get paid when I get everything. Where is it? Where is what? Lewis said you were bringing the saxophone. Lewis said? Lewis got picked up by the cops. He don't got no saxophone. You set this meeting up! No, we didn't. Now where's our money? Where is the saxophone? Darren? The big donor from the museum? I better bust up this party and have a talk with him. I should get the whole bunch wrapped up before they hurt someone. We're fed up with you not paying us. We don't work for free. I What's he doing here? We need Leon with the big gun. Spider-Man! I'm just trying to get the stolen things back to the museum. That's not true! 
truth. I can explain. Yeah. That's gonna have to be a longer conversation. Well, that seems to be all of them. Let's get to the bottom of this with Darren. <laughs> oh, thank you, Spider-Man. And I assure you, there's a very reasonable explanation. That seems extremely dubious. Wait till Councilwoman Morales hears you were involved in this. Leon, here! Time to exterminate a spider! Darren, stay back. Sounds like he's close. That guy's on Darren's tail. Can't blame him. He wants their money. Who is it? Is this Lewis? Darren, stop the car! Spider-Man? Can you at least stop these guys chasing me? You weren't trying to retrieve those things. You were the one behind the robbery in the first place. I care about these objects! You pretended to care, and then stole from the museum. It's this community's history. It's my family's history. I don't expect you to understand. I don't think I'm the one who doesn't understand. Let's get these other bad guys out the way first. We gotta stop this and put all these guys behind bars. The police are on their way. We gotta catch up to Darren. Oh, are you still there? Look, my father was one of the most successful music producers ever. He produced half the artists in that museum. Good for him. Now stop the car and tell me where the rest of the pieces are. Here we go. Not today, Terry. What the? Which one was the break? I should probably get my license one of these days. Just so I get this right. All that talk of supporting the museum. All Angela's time you wasted asking about operations and security. All lies. So you can learn how to steal the collection. But my family... No. I'm sure you do care about this music. But those things don't belong to you. They belong to this community. Let's go, sir. You're under arrest. This event would not have been possible without our wonderful curator, Angela, mm -hmm. and this entire community. The way we pulled together to recover the stolen items is nothing less than amazing. Okay, okay. Thank you to everyone of you for saving me. And thank you, Rio Morales, our city council person, who championed this event so tenaciously. Rio was elected on a platform to help our city. And I'd say she's off to a stunning start. Too many people. Hey, gotta go around. I guess it all worked out. This museum is fire. 
and so much music I want to go listen to now. <laughs> right? Bro, it's so inspiring. Hey, you want to have breakfast tomorrow? I can tell you all my new music ideas. Let's do it. I'm going to keep checking this out. Miles, isn't this place awesome? I'm embarrassed to say I've never been here before, but after hearing about the robbery, I thought I'd better come check it out. And what I heard, that guy convinced himself all this stuff rightfully belonged to him. Crazy what some people can convince themselves is true. Hey, I heard you help find the missing saxophone. Yeah, I got to hold it. Bird coax miracles from that hunk of metal. My dad was a big Charlie Parker fan. He'd be happy to know the sax is here for everyone to appreciate. And maybe lead them back to the music. Music mm, is magic. Angela, I'm Miles, Councilwoman Morales' son. Miles, she talks about you all the time. Congratulations on the exhibit. I'm glad it all came together. Thanks to your mom and Spider-Man, of course. Whew, this neighborhood is blessed to have them both. Hey, Miles, I figured I'd better come see that saxophone in its right place. It was your tip that helped with the saxophone recovery. Oh, not really. It was all our Spider-Man. The guy, not the cat. Well, it was a community effort. Give your Spider-Man some ear speeches for me. I will. Ah, we were hoping you'd be here. Oh, wow. Your mom is something else. That she is. Can you believe that guy pretended to be a donor and then robbed the place? Thank God he didn't get away with it. I agree. This stuff needs to be here. Not in some guy's penthouse where he's the only one who could see it. Art and music can really make a difference in the world. Down on Lennox Avenue the other night, by the pale, dull pallor of an old gas light, he did a lazy sway. He did a lazy sway. That's some lyrics right there. Basically, Bebop let musicians show off. Eugene was right. That is what MCs do. Gotta listen a little more closely. I should finish looking around before I go talk to Ma and head out.
Thank you all. Thank you so much. <laughs> Angela told me the museum has a record number of new memberships. Seriously? They're gonna be okay. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without you, Ma. Now hear me out. What if we really teamed up on the next one? I can get my own suit. Ma! Maybe. Algo con brillo. Ma, stop. Stop. <laughs> stop it. Get out of here. <laughs> Dance with me. Show me how to salsa. Lucky I found this first. Danicasters, you remember those recent thefts at the Harlem Cultural Center? It turns out Darren Shipman was pulling the strings. If that name sounds familiar, it's because he's a multi-millionaire with his name on everything, because his money is in everything. So, we have a special guest today to drop some knowledge on us about an exciting new opportunity for budding artists to share in the joys of responsible art. Please welcome renowned street artist and head of the Cooper Art Coalition, Haley Cooper. Hi, Danica. I'm Genki Lee, Haley's interpreter. She's signing next to me. She says she's concerned. Oh, excited to be here. Ugh, I'm still learning. <laughs> Fantastic. Welcome, both of you. So, Haley, tell us all about your coalition. Thanks, Danica. Thanks for interpreting, Genki. You're doing great. Aw, uh, oh, thanks. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I was born deaf. Sign language didn't come easy at first, so I drew my feelings. I communicated through art. Still do. So when I found a copy of one of my pieces up for sale, it felt like a piece of me was stolen with it. That's when I started the Cooper Art Coalition, a union that protects NYC artists of all mediums from theft. That's brilliant. It's about time we had a force to fight underground theft like this. Can you tell us more about what the Coalition is doing to protect artists? We look out for each other, make sure we don't see copies where copies shouldn't be. And we have digital activists keeping an eye out for unauthorized online dealings. We're 63 artists strong and growing every day. I love this. Awesome organization protecting awesome people. How can budding artists get in touch? Through our website. Link is on the Danacast blog homepage. Send a picture or two of your pieces and your weight and... Oh no, uh, your name. And uh, we'll be in touch. <laughs> there you have it, folks. The Cooper Arts Coalition. Any words of advice before we bid you adieu? Yeah, don't steal art. Not cool. Can't argue with that, Haley. Oh, that one was all me. Haley says if you do, the artists might haunt you in the afterlife. I can't prove they won't. Later, Danikids. <laughs> 